what's up all you action figure lovers out there Master Marvel's back at it once again bringing you another action figure review tonight we're gonna to be taking a look at the Mighty Morphin the Power Rangers Lightning Collection we have Beast Morphers Blue Ranger I'm so used to saying Mighty Morphin Power Rangers let's just get over that so yes we're looking at we got some new stuff here man some new Power Rangers and oh, like I said I don't know shit really outside of Mighty Morphin so I don't know nothing about this right here either so like I just did a review and, it, and I'm already I'm just like really confused because what I just reviewed was I don't have the figure I mean but it was this Beast Morphers cyber villain blaze this is Beast Morphers Blue Rangers the design doesn't match so I don't know like I said I have I don't know what I'm doing here I don't know anything about these Power Rangers so please somebody let me know what the hell's going on here <laughs> but yeah I mean I do have references though at least to this character somewhat if I could just get him out of here I'd get a better look at him uh, and this is standard this pretty much is about what we got the last figure like it fisted hands here these are both effects pieces this is I guess for maybe a, a fist and this goes on the sword it's like digital looking shit it's kind of weird but cool at the same time then we have we had have again an unmasked head which is really very Latino looking which it's a really good job, though. Really good job. And here's our Blue Ranger. Okay, so... Very basic. Very streamlined. Nothing real flashy to the costume. The helmet. So, um... Yeah, yeah I don't know. Weird, weird design. Fucking weird shaped... It's really boxy. It's not even a smooth, like, you can see it. It's like weird robotic looking design in the helmet. So that's interesting to see. Um, and of course we got the little sword here and this does go like that on the sword, giving it that lightning, that digitized lightning effect, which again, I know nothing about. So, we'll get it in his hand though there. It looks pretty cool. Oh, that's a stiff elbow. Does not move at all? Wow, because there's like sculpted detail on the outside of the elbow there. Or on the inside of the elbow. There's sculpted detail. You can see it even on this side here. So, uh, it makes it really hard to move the elbow, but it's cool, I guess. I don't know what that sculpted detail is all about, but mm, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Let's check and see how this looks on the. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this goes on the hand, right? Is he not wanting to? Oh, that's pretty neat looking. Nice. So yeah, this is a cool looking character, I'd say. It's different in design, but he's cool. And I will compare it to... <coughs> <coughs> Shit. I will compare it to uh, the Red Ranger here that obviously seems like it's in the same class. They both have that digitized effect on the swords. Very similar design and costume, so... Yeah, I'm feeling these. They're pretty cool, man. They look great together. The red and blue. It's pretty nice. So, cool. Yep, always excited about getting new characters. So, I'm loving it. I don't know shit about it. Doesn't matter. Still love it. 
So anyways, you guys, please give me information on this figure if you're watching these videos. Um, I definitely need some education on it. Refer me to whatever if you want, you know. Uh, I'll look shit up. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of the figure. Let me know what you think of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's your boy, Master Marvel 80 here. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.